the father of two, specifically targeting the woke agenda affecting our kids. We see it across the country with the pro-Palestinian slash Hamas protests. You see that. Then we hear about it with Osama bin Laden's letter to America resonating really with this generation on TikTok with influencers befuddled on how this could happen to their generation. They were all couldn't believe it. But you know who could believe it? My next guest, the author of Wimpy Week and Woke, John Cooper, seeks to stop the madness. John, when those two things happened, a lot of people were surprised, not if they read your book. Hey, Brian, good to see you again. Yeah, absolutely. Look, I think the average American realizes things are not going good, but I don't know if people really understand why or how bad it's going to get. And so that's the reason I wrote the book. Here's how I would say it. If you piecemeal all of the bizarre things happening, college kids cheering on Hamas, uh, young adults sort of sympathizing with Osama bin Laden of all the insane things, but everything, woke military, drag queens coming in to read to children in schools. If you piecemeal all these things, they don't make sense. But if you understand that wokeness is a totalizing ideology, it is a way of seeing the entire world through a lens of power. Who has power and who did they steal it from? And whoever they stole it from, anything those people do is considered moral And anybody that has power, anybody that has anything that someone else doesn't have, they are considered immoral. If you understand that, then everything makes sense. To me, if anyone wants to go to Gaza or understand the fundamentals of Hamas, especially if you're a woman, why would you subscribe and defend that? If you've seen the video of the carnage October 7th, how could you defend that? And to me, it just shows an ignorance a, a willful ignorance among the next generation who are eventually going to be our leaders. Will they, what will it take to sober them up? Yeah, absolutely. I think stunning ignorance is a great way to say it. What I think your average American needs to understand is that in this oppressor and oppressed narrative, the biggest oppressor is Western civilization, America, and Christianity. So anything you have to do to fight those three things is going to be considered virtuous. And so any activity you do, no matter how immoral it is, you're going to get the cheer for it. So that's why I wrote the book. The only place you can get the book is my website, johnlcooper.com. I want to make sure and say that. I want to speak out about it because the principles of liberty are so amazing. And I truly believe people have no idea how precious this country is. Yeah, and you care so much. You travel with your band. You care about the country. You read every moment you can. At the same time, you're a fantastic musician with a wonderful following, but you care most about the country, and that's why you did the book. John, thank you so much. John Cooper, appreciate it.